This is where we left in the previous video by sending a token to the user's email address for the password reset. And everything was working fine. In this video, we are going to create a component. When a user click on a link from the email address, we are going to render that component. And from there, we will take the token and also the new password for the user to change. So let's get into it. So over here, I have provided the template for you, which is called reset password, this one. So we are going to render this component. Make sure it matches the exact path as we specified over here as reset password and then the params. So let's get into it, which is app.gsx. And here, copy that, request or reset password change this one to reset and then verify token save it and let's see and we have the component for the user to add the new password so let's go ahead and then handle the form and even we can use the same logic as we did for the let me check users here and then the i think uh, i used the templates instead from the previous video yeah so let me check templates and then the request password yeah 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 so <laughs> let me copy this one and then place it inside the user's component rather, which is this. And in the template, sorry guys, I messed up with the component. I'm going to remove all the logics. This is from the template and comment out these guys or even remove it and also remove this one and comment out these ones so let's make sure that we are importing the right component as that so let me change the import instead of templates it's going to be users all right so now let's focus on the main logic so here let's copy the component for the reset which is this and let's place it inside the users here awesome so let's go ahead and then use that instead of the template one so here which is the password reset change this one to users and that is it now it worked all right so let me close this and then in the request here we are going to copy the logic here as we did for the previous one so here let's remove this and then paste that let's import these guys and here as reset password api and here is going to be password and we also send the token as well but the token we can get it from the params right so don't worry about that and change this one to password and you will say that password is required and that is it the difference here is change let's bring it back and also this one awesome 
and here for the submit we are going to provide the data i will say data here is equal to object and remember we will need the verification token likewise the new password so here i will say password will be from the values dot password then the token let me cross check the endpoint i think we can use any variable name so i will say verify token so let's go ahead and then get the token from the url as const the structure from rec dot params hey, sorry use query instead i would think i'm on the back end use params and make sure to use the same property name as we specified over here as verify token so here as that and now you're gonna pass that one to the request so now i can remove this as data here now for the api for the password reset let's get there and here we will need the password as data here and we will need the token so the password is going to be data dot password because we are sending it as an object so here as data dot verify token we are good to go all right so now if i open the console and let me refresh and provide one two three four five well i think i have to bind the on submit yeah i don't have it on submit and provide formic dot handle submit now let's see refresh it one two three four five and let's see the error error here response not the request routes not found oh sorry supposed to be post method but not put let's try let's check we got an error which is error here response password reset token expires awesome so now the logics are working so let's go ahead and then click on login and forgot password provide the right email address and i got the message if i click on this link provide one two three four five send let me check the console and password reset successfully so if i go ahead and then log in with the new password one two three four five well i think um we got invalid login in let me try again let me check if the username for that email is for massentech i'm not sure <laughs> so let me try again and check confirm for my db i'm looking for the one with the email oh the username here is ima yeah so now let me provide the ima here and log in and now i can log in but for this i think the path was supposed to be dashboard so upon logging in let's cross check for the redirect is dashboard awesome let me try again log out log in email and 
there we go awesome so now the password reset is working but let's display some message to the user which is let me copy this i will need this one on the request one so let's get into the reset and then provide the message as that and this is the component let me go to log in email here awesome 